So, when I was a kid and learning about such things as gravity, I put up my hand and asked the teacher, Miss, what is the speed of gravity? Even if you don't know the answer to a question that a kid asks you, granted it was a pretty weird question for a third grader, you can still talk about it and there's a lot of things that you can teach them in the meantime or even teach yourself. And even nowadays, you have access to the entirety of human knowledge in your hand. Okay Google, what's the speed of gravity? Spoilers. Hey everyone, Vixelant here. Now this is a pretty cool question, one that literally ends with you getting stretched. I am not even kidding. So let's get into it. So to ask how fast gravity is, is to imply that it's a thing and that that thing can move fast. But gravity isn't made of particles. So what is it that moves? Now, Einstein thought of gravity not too much as an ordinary force like magnetism is. He thought of it more as a curvature in space that's caused by an object that has mass, like the Earth. And thus the moon gets caught in this curvature that we call gravity. Now everything has gravity. The sun has gravity. Your eyelash has gravity. Me after my third taco at 4am alone in the morning has gravity. <laughs> so what we're really asking here is, how fast can the fabric of space bend? So recently you would have heard about the discovery of gravitational waves in science. Now this is so awesome is because Einstein predicted that these would exist long before we even had the technology to detect if they existed. So, a gravitational wave occurs when two massive objects, in this case, two black holes, get so close to each other that they begin to orbit. The violent spinning of these two black holes are so intense that they shoot out ripples in the fabric of space until they eventually reach us and literally stretch the planet. The atoms in your body right now are being manipulated and stretched by two black holes that light would take 1.3 billion years to reach. So, how do we detect this stretch? Since the stretching of the planet would obviously stretch all of the instruments that we use to observe it, we had to get creative. And that was done by remembering that the speed of light is a constant, meaning it never changes. It might bounce off some particles in the way from A to B, but the speed is always the same. If I were to shoot a beam of light away from me, and space bent away from me in that direction, the beam of light wouldn't bend with it and go faster. It would just take longer to reach its destination. So they built a machine like the one at LIGO, basically shooting two light beams away at 90 degree offsets that would eventually bounce back, and then recording their times. If we were influenced by a wave, the particle would either come back faster or slower than what would be predicted. And it's not that the particle is going faster or slower, in essence, you're moving further away and closer to the particle itself. If gravity was instant, you wouldn't feel the effects of those gravitational waves anymore because those black holes would have merged long ago. Using these techniques, we have found out that the speed of gravity is actually around 1% less than the speed of light. So that means if right now the sun were to just be deleted from our solar system, of course there would be mass panic, but not instantly. It would take 8 minutes and 20 seconds for us to notice the lights go out. And another 5 seconds after that for Earth to lose its orbit with the sun. So after a long hard day at work and you're feeling down, just remember, millions of black holes all over the universe are very slightly, very minutely giving you a nice massage. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. I'm Vixelent and I will see you next time. Let's say you get visited by you from the future, telling you the winning lottery numbers to the $1.5 billion jackpot. So the next day you go out and buy a lottery ticket, and what do you know, you win $1.5 billion and buy yourself a time machine. At some point in your life, you need to remember